Welcome to episode 3 of my Special Ops Challenge Guide series. Today's episode covers a brand new challenge that was just discovered. As far as I know, very few people are even aware of this challenge being in the game. It's called Chrome Dome. Save yourself and two teammates from a Trinity Rocket score streak using the Dome Shield. The calling card is not as spectacular as you would expect from such an awesomely named challenge. So before I begin with tactics, I need to give credit where credit is due. I've been searching for the last few Special Ops challenges since I originally found out about them. No one seems to know what the missing few are. But lo and behold, it's my very own subscribers that alerted me of this challenge. So I'd like to personally thank Riley and Derek for mentioning the description of this hidden challenge. I honestly would never have known about it had you two not posted comments on my video. Now I know what you're thinking here. This challenge is pure luck. You can't force the enemy to call in a Trinity Rocket, nor can you force two of your teammates into your bubble of death. While that's true, there's several things we can do to aid us in preparing for when opportunity calls. First, let's briefly touch base on a class setup. Obviously, you need the Dome Shield for this challenge. However, don't stop with just one. You absolutely should have two Dome Shields on your character at all times. Unfortunately, this takes up a whopping three class points to accomplish but it's better to be safe than sorry. In perk 1, I recommend Ghost. Naturally, you don't want to show up on every UAV scan that enters the fray. Other than that though, the entire rest of the class is up to you. There's one perk you must not run, and that's the perk 3 Hardwired. If you run this, it'll remove the bright red box outline when the enemy uses the Trinity Rocket, making you pretty much invisible. You do not want this. You have to be able to be seen in order to complete this challenge. Again, do not run the hardwired perk. Now rig selection is very important here. You'll want to select Warfighter for the sole purpose of a very helpful trait, which is resupply. By equipping this trait, every kill you make with your weapon, either ballistic or energy, will drop a pack similar to Scavenger. This will replenish one lethal and one tactical, although even if you have two tacticals equipped, each pack will only replenish one at a time. Of note, Using the combat knife will not replenish anything. You must use your weapon. For a payload, you can select any of the three available. I like to go with combat focus to help aid me with score streaks, but to each their own. As with most of these special ops challenges, game mode is very important. You'll want to play Domination. Now I know, I know, Domination is nothing but full party tryhards sweating their dicks off. But that's precisely what you want. You need an enemy that can earn a Trinity Rocket. Playing a bunch of Timmy No Thumbs will not offer you that luxury. If you want to live dangerously, you can try Ground War as well. More people equals more score streaks equals more chances for a Trinity Rocket. However, you still want it to be Domination. So briefly, let's discuss the Dome Shield. It's a defensive energy bubble that blocks incoming enemy shots. First off, it lasts a long time, about 7.9 seconds in total. Now that of course is when it's not being shot at. It can't stand up to sustained enemy fire, and it can be destroyed even more quickly by any weapon using the FMJ or the RAM servo attachment. The dome shield can buy you a few precious seconds and is most useful against a single shooter. Take note that while enemies can't shoot in, you can't shoot out either. So the idea is simple. You'll have ample dome shields at your disposal since you'll spawn with two each life, and then each subsequent kill you get will replenish one. Now prior to each match, or even during the match, you'll want to tell your teammates what the plan is. If you're playing solo, get on your microphone and tell them that if a Trinity Rocket gets called in, everyone needs to huddle under your dome shield and it'll protect them. If you're partied up with people, obviously just tell them what the plan is prior to the match. The reason domination is ideal is because you'll often get two or more teammates hopping on to capture a flag. Simply throw a dome shield down at every opportunity you get when capping these flags. That way, even if you're playing solo and no one wants to listen to you, you can potentially use your teammates for the challenge anyway. Once they see the bubble form, they'll likely stay under it. Although, I'm sure at least half the population isn't even aware the dome shield blocks a Trinity rocket. But now you know. If the enemy shoots all the Trinity rockets at your location, your bubble will definitely break and you'll die. But it only takes one rocket smashing into the bubble with you and two teammates under it to complete the challenge. Now obviously, it's true that luck does play a huge role in this challenge. The fact that the Trinity Rocket is a moderately high price score streak, and it's not unlocked until level 46, will leave a majority of people not running it. To counter this, you could also run the drone package. If you happen to call one in and get a Trinity Rocket in it, you can leave it and hope the enemy will come by and take it. 
If you go this route, have your double dome shield class on the ready and make sure you have two teammates willing to comply with your bubble strategy, since at that point you'll know a Trinity rocket will be called in. Chances are, if the enemy does get a Trinity rocket and calls it in, they won't be able to resist the cluster of red box squares huddled up together, which makes for an ideal situation for both you and the enemy. My best advice is to just run the double dome shield class every time you play Domination until you complete the challenge. Sooner or later, someone will call in a Trinity Rocket. You need to make every effort possible to ensure you're prepared when such an opportunity arises. The sure way to miss success is to miss the opportunity.